Hello Year 6, my name is Mrs Pittock and hopefully you already know that I will be your Year 7 Student Support Officer when you join us at Hinchin Brit School, hopefully in September. I'm just here to introduce the next episode in our subject tutorial video series, which is all about subjects in our creative faculty. These subjects are art, PT, drama, music and PE. I really hope you enjoy the video and I can't wait to meet you all very soon. Take care, bye bye. Year six. I'm Mr. Reid, head of the art department at Hinchbrook School here. Um, we just want to welcome you for hopefully September and see what you're up to and just pass on what we like to do in the art department and how much fun and how much you're going to learn over this next year. Okay? We have an ethos. One of the ethos is we want you to be brave. We want you to do things that you haven't done before stuff that you can try out. We also want you to be, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> we want you to take risks. If you don't understand something, don't give in, give it a go, see where you get to. The more, the more things you try out, the better you're gonna get. And also, we don't want you to be precious. We don't want you to give up. We don't want you to go, oh, I can't do that, sir. We want you to give it a go. Best thing we want you to do, though, to do all these things, be brave, take risks, don't be precious. We want you to come into the art department and give it your best. And we want you to walk away from every lesson saying, it might not be the best drawing, but I've given it the best, okay? And best thing of all, do it with a smile on your face, okay? Look forward to seeing you, hopefully in September. See ya, bye bye. Morning, year six, my name's Miss Lombard and I am head of creativity at Hinchinbrook and I am also an art teacher and a DT teacher. I've been at Hinchinbrook for 10 years now uh, and I love the school, love the job and this is one of my favourite spaces to be in, this is the kiln room. My specialty is clay work and 3D work and so I look forward to teaching some of you when you join us in September. Hi, I'm Michaela. I'm the art technician here at Hitchinbrook School. I help run the art department, so I'll be preparing materials that you'd use in lessons, so you might see me running around. I've been here two years now, um, and what I really enjoy about the art department is the fact that it is such a welcoming environment and really creative space. Hello, Year 6. Um, I'm Miss Cater. I'm currently standing in my favourite room in the art department. This is the photography dark room. Um, I've been here at Hinchinbrook teaching for three uh, years now and I teach art and photography. Um, I really look forward to seeing you all hopefully in September and welcoming you to the art department. Hello, I'm Miss Davidson. Um, I'm a textiles teacher so I will be in this room mostly. I'm also in DT so you might see me um, in DT and I'm also a year nine form tutor. Hello Year 6, uh, my name is Mrs Hill and I look forward to seeing you or some of you in the art department next year um, from September because I am a teacher of art and design. Um, see you then, bye. Hi Year 6, my name is Mrs Treen and I teach at Hinchin Book School Art Department. Um, I truly think that the art department is a massive asset to the school, one of the best art departments in the country. We have amazing facilities, we have dedicated creative staff and um, just the location being part of Hinchin Book House is fantastic. So my favourite project that we teach in Year 6 is the Outdoor Summer Project where we take you outside to Hinch and Book House. We do some fantastic watercolours. You can be really expressive with your mark making. And I think it's a really nice end to the summer term on the projects that we do within year six. I look forward to seeing you um, hopefully in September. I look forward to teaching you and look forward to seeing the kind of things that you've been up to in your previous school and also at home. Hello. Um, year six, this is Miss Cater again. Um, here I'm just showing you whereabouts art is located. So you can see over here, this is the food court, and then you come past um, it round, come up and the main the entrance to art steps, is and then just you will see underneath three arches. the arches. You then follow past the green bin, 
and through them double doors. On your first lesson of art, you will want to come and line up underneath these arches where your teacher will meet you. So your class teacher on your first lesson of art will meet you under the arches and you will go through this door here. So year six, once you come into the art um, building, all of our classrooms are on one level. You go down the corridor and I'm just gonna show you a couple of the classrooms. So this is one of our six form studios. Um, this is just for um, six formers that are studying fine art painting. And they have their easels and their spaces, material cupboards, tables, paper storage. Then through this room is where Mr. Reed um, teaches his lessons. Um, it's looking a little bit different now because um, we are setting up for year 12s coming back into school after they've been on remote learning. Um, but you can see that we have um, big tables in here, who be sitting on stools, lots of paper storage. And this is just giving you a little bit of an idea of what one of the art classrooms are like. And this is Mr. Reed's room, room 171. We'll go back through the sixth form room. And we'll go down the corridor. On this side here, they've got lots of notices. Um, you can find lots of information about different things that are happening around the area. Some paintings, some artwork from other students around. Trips, so photos from trips are all displayed on here. And then this is another art classroom, so 172. Again, it looks a little bit different at the moment because we are setting up for year 12s coming back after remote learning. But we use this classroom from uh, for year 7s all the way through to year 13, so you could potentially be in this classroom. So nice big open spaces, lots of natural light coming in. This is another classroom. This is a textiles classroom. So um, we use this for um, GCSE textiles, but year seven and eight and key stage three um, will also use this for their teaching. So you can see that we've got um, sewing machines set up around the room. But like I said, we also use this for year seven and eight to teach them as well as textiles. It's a little bit messy at the moment. But this gives you an idea of the sort of classroom that you'll be learning um, in when you come in in September. Hello Year 6. Um, I'm now going to set you a small task to complete, um, which I would like you to bring to your first lesson um, of art that you will experience at Hinchinbrook School. So hopefully that will be in September. So you can complete this task over the summer. What I would like you to do is I would like you to visit the Tate website. So Tate is um, a gallery in London. There is the Tate Britain in London and the, there is the Tate Modern in London as well. There are also other Tate galleries um, around the country. There's one in Liverpool and there's one in St Ives. Um, St Ives Cornwall that is. What I would like you to do is go on the Tate website and I would like you to have a little look at their website and look at all the different artworks that they um, offer. So they offer artwork from painting to sculpture to installation, um, video art, there's lots and lots of different types of art available on their website. Explore the website, so take a little while to have a good look through it. And then what I want you to do, your task, is I would like you to pick one bit of artwork that has really stood out to you. So after you've had a little look through the website, 
and you spend some time looking into the different arts, I want you to pick one of them that has really, really stood out to you. Um, so it might have taken um, your attention by the media, so it might be that you really like video art, it might be that you really like painting and that really stuck out to you and that's why you've chosen that artwork. But I want you to choose one and then what I would like you to do is I would like you to print a picture um, out of it or if you don't have a printer, that's fine, you can just draw um, a, a pastiche of the artwork, so just draw a copy of that artwork. What I would then like you to do is um, I would like you to write about that artwork, so just a short paragraph about that artwork. I don't need to know facts about the artwork, what I would like to, you to write is who created the artwork, why you have um, selected it, so what really interests you about the artwork, why have you um, selected that one, and um, how you think it might inspire you in the future as an artist. So as soon as you come to Hinchinbrook, um, in the art department, we see you as young artists. So what we like to get you to think about is how work um, of other art from other artists inspires you. So that's really, really important, is for you to write how that piece of work might inspire you in the future on your art journey. I'm really, really looking forward to reading um, through some of your um, responses to this task, especially the, those who I will be teaching next year. I'm really looking forward to seeing what sort of art you're interested in and helping you on that um, journey as an artist at Hinchinbrook. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome to DT at Hinchinbrook School. Uh, I'm just going to give you a little talk about what we've got in DT and what we do. Um, obviously things are quite different at the moment with um, all the restrictions in place in classes, so there are some tables all over the place, but when you get there you'll see what we're doing. This is what our department looks like if you come in from the uh, reception and art side. There is two entries into our department. Uh, your teacher will tell you where you need to line up. So just go for this area and then they will take you to where you need to be lining up. We like you to line up nice and neatly outside the uh, department just so that we know we can get you into the classes. Because as you're about to see in a minute, our classes are all very open and you'll find yourself walking through people's classes. And if we go through as a group, we just make sure we don't interrupt things too much. Um, this is a little uh, entrance to our department, so you can see you've got three classrooms there. You're actually in one at the moment with this video, and those big red doors open up to this room becomes one really big room. Now, at the moment, we're only using a couple of classrooms, they have been closed, but hopefully, you guys will be able to walk through and see the department uh, when it's fully open. We don't mind you walking through the department, walking through the classes, as long as you ask before you do so, and as long as you're nice and polite and smiley. We like to see smiling faces. After going through the red doors, you'll find the corridor to the rest of the department. Um, we've got lots of nice equipment in the middle here is where we keep all the equipment that's like general use. Uh, this equipment is bigger machinery, so you do have to be shown how to use it, like with everything else but you do get to use most of the equipment in the department. We've got so many different tools and equipment to use. Um, it's a really exciting time to test yourself and to push yourself and to try out some new skills. You never know, you might be really handy at home helping out doing those DIY jobs. At the bottom you can see our office. Um, even if the door's closed, you're more than welcome to come and knock on the door. If we're not in our classrooms, this is where we'll be. Um, so come along and say hi. If you walk through the department towards the bottom, we do actually have our own computer room. Um, again, the tables are set out a little bit differently at the moment. These white tables in front of the computer room, they're special, really special drawing tables. They can be used flat like this for normal work, or they actually flip over so you've got a really nice drawing easel on there. And again, when it's the appropriate time, the teacher will take you through to use those. We also have a laser cutter. This is really exciting. We have a really big laser cutter. Um, this laser cutter has been working extremely hard over the last few weeks um, because we have been making visors for NHS and the care homes and whatever around us. So that laser cutter is currently having a little bit of a break and having a bit of a clean and some maintenance done. But you'll see in the corner there we've rewarded it with a sticker so they've helped out by COVID-19. This is our technician's room. 
Um, this is where Tony, our technician, works. Um, he's often in here prepping materials, uh, sorting out tools and equipment. Go and say hi, he will be your best friend for the time you're at the school. If you have any problems, go and speak to him. Um, he has his wood store in here and his metal store. He will show you around and he'll show you where you can go and where you can't go. This is where we keep all of our materials uh, for each project and also where we keep all of the spare tools and equipment. Your teacher might take you through there, show you where it is, and they might ask you to nip in occasionally and go and get some spare equipment. But please only get it when you've been spoken to. We also have a second entrance to the department, um, and this is actually at the back. And if you can see on that top picture, you can just about make out this, uh, the distinct purple roof for our food hall. Um, if you walk straight up from the food hall towards those bus bay gates, this brings you into this back room. This is 192, uh, sorry, 182, and this also takes you through to the computer room, and you can also use it to get through to 185. But again, your teacher will tell you which entrance to line up at. Hello, I'm Mrs Cook. I'm one of the music teachers at Hinchingbrook School. We're really looking forward to welcoming you to our department. We've got a main teaching room that's full of really exciting instruments to play, like xylophones and African drums and a samba kit. We've also got three further classrooms. We've got a Mac suite, a recording studio, and lots of practice rooms. At year seven, we learn about the instruments of the orchestra, and we also learn practical skills such as how to play the keyboard, the ukulele, the African drums, and we play lots of games. 
One of the first things that we learn in Year 7 is how to read and write and perform simple rhythms such as quavers, crotchets, minims, semibreves and semiquavers. Have a look at this piece which is called Rhythmic Rondo. For some of you, reading these rhythms in this way might feel quite familiar because you might be learning a musical instrument or you might have done it in your primary schools. For others of you, reading music like this might be totally new, so don't worry if it feels a little bit challenging at first. Right, now let's try and clap those first four bars together. One, two, three, four. And now here's part four. One, two, three, four. This is what the piece sounds like with all four parts together. One, two, three, four. We hope you've enjoyed learning that piece. We'd like to challenge you now to see if you can learn it with three members of your family or friends. Hello Year 6 students and parents. My name is Agatha Leach and I'm in Year 8. I would like to introduce the music department to you. We have four members of staff, Mr Cook who is head of music. He is also joined by Mrs Nichols, Mr Ingram and Mrs Cook. We also have a great team of peripatetic staff. We have three main teaching rooms, a Mac suite, lots of practice rooms and an amazing recording studio. For our concerts, we mainly use the purpose-built PAC, but we also hold outdoor events and concerts in Hinchinbrook House. Hi, I'm Maliki and I'm in Year 8. In Year 7 and Year 8, we studied lots of different types of music, from blues to reggae to the music of Africa and all around the world. We learn how to read and write music with an emphasis on rhythm. Hi, I'm Zoe and I'm in Year 7. In Year 7 we learn about the instruments of the orchestra and listen to different pieces of music from composers of the past and the present. We also do lots of practical activities such as learning to play the keyboard, the ukulele and the xylophones. We also have fun singing and playing the African drums and the samba kit. Most of our lessons start with a song or a rhythm game. You can have extra one-on-one -on -one music lessons every week from our amazing team of peripatetic teachers. We offer lessons on piano, guitars, drums, woodwind, brass, strings and singing. Here are some of our teachers to introduce themselves and their instrument to you. Hi, my name is Tim Slater. I'm the peripatetic guitar teacher at Hingenbrook School. I've been teaching there very happily for the past five years or so. I teach acoustic and electric guitar, ukulele and bass guitar. Hello, my name is Mrs Grigg and I teach cello and some beginner piano at Hinchingbrook School. I currently teach about 17 students at Hinchingbrook School and I also direct the Lunchtime String Ensemble group and run a Lunchtime Theory of Music group. This is my cello. I'm going to play you a short passage of Bach. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mrs Juliet Bryan. I teach violin and viola at Hinchingbrook. I teach beginners and more advanced students and I love helping people improve their playing and enjoy their music making. Here's a little bit of violin. <laughs> Quick 
quickly followed by a little bit of viola. <laughs> Hello there, my name's Joe McLohan and I teach the alto saxophone. Hi, my name's Ian Pickering and I teach drums at Henshingbrook School. Hello, my name's Patrick Daly and you can have piano lessons from me at Hinching Brook School if you want to. Something about me which I'd like you to know that after I studied piano at the Royal Northern College, I played professional pop and jazz up and down the country in lots of clubs. Hello, my name's Mrs Adams and I teach piano and theory at Hinching Brook School. Whatever kind of style you like, whatever kind of music you like, whatever you're enthusiastic about, I would be very happy to help you. We have some great lessons, we can do duets, we can do solos, we can work towards exams if you want to. With these individual lessons, if you make enough progress you can do great exams, but you don't have to. It's just great to learn an instrument. Hi, I'm Carenza and I'm Year 7. Some of our students have made it all the way through to Grade 8. Here is a clip of Amy in Year 12, who is playing one of her Grade 8 piano pieces. And here is Lucas, also in Year 12, who's playing a grade 8 drum piece. Some of our students have even had success at national level. In the past few years, we've had two students reach the final or BBC Young Musician with a saxophonist, Rob Burton, reaching the grand final in 2018. He got to play live on TV with the City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra. If you do play an instrument, you'll be able to take part in any of our extracurricular activities. I take part in orchestra, string group, pop choir, and I do music theory. In the summer, we have Glastonbury, which is like a mini music festival where the bands from school perform. During the year, we also hold acoustic concerts called Glastonbury Unplugged. We also have an arts festival every July called Picnic at the House, which brings together all the arts. Every February, we do a school musical with the drama department. This year, we did Little Shop of Horrors, and in previous years, they have had The School of Rock, Les Miserables, the Adam family, Oliver and loads more. You can follow the music department's news on Twitter at MusicHBK or contact Mr or Mrs Cook for more information. Thank you for watching and remember to keep loving your music making. Bye! Bye. Hi Year 6, I'd like to introduce you to Hinchinbrook P Department. We're here in the £2.1 million uh, sports hall and facilities, the fitness suite. This is where you're going to start your journey. We hope you're going to have fun, we hope you're going to be tested over this period of time and have every opportunity to excel. Uh, to my left we have Miss Phillips and Mrs Jago. They're just going to talk a little bit about the experiences that you'll have and where you could end up in your journey of life from Hinchinbrook Department. Yeah, so we are fully inclusive here at Hinchinbrook. We offer a vast range of sports and activities that you can do inside and outside of the curriculum because what we focus on is our social, mental and physical well-being. 
Now, just like many sporting stars that have walked through the doors of Hinchinbrook Book School, they too started here as a Year 7 student, but they've gone on to great things. We've got Hannah McLeod, who's an Olympic gold medalist in hockey. We've got Darren Bent and Carla Humphrey, who are both, um, they have played for England on the football pitch. So we've got lots of people for you to follow in the footsteps of. Um, and all we ask of you is that every time you come into one of your PE lessons, you just try your best. So we're going to take you on a tour of the school. You're going to look at the facilities, look at what we've got to offer. And it's up to you to make the best of it and you to take every opportunity given to you at Hinchinbrook. Good luck on your journey. You can run the mile, you can walk straight through hell with a smile. You could be the hero, you could get the gold. Breaking all the records, they thought never could be broke. Yeah, do it for your people, do it for your pride. And you're never gonna know if you never even try. Do it for your country, do it for your name. Cause there's gonna be a day when you're standing in the hall of fame. So here at Hinchinbrook, one of the things that we really like to get the message through um, in, in our lessons is that it's not all about physical PE skills. What we like to teach here at Hinchinbrook is fair play, sportsmanship, leadership, resilience, determination, respect, empathy and independence. These are all the skills that you're going to need to go on and enjoy your, your future life. Okay, we're in one of the changing rooms that we provide for you to get changed in a nice, relaxed, safe manner. As you can see, you're going to have your own changing area, peg to put your clothes on, shoes underneath to go with your bag. Around the outside of the changing room, you'll see various uh, posters explaining the positive way that you can improve your life, not through sports, but through physical education. And that's very important you understand when you come to Hinchinbrook Depart P Department, it's about physical education, learning about how to be healthy, both physically, mentally and emotionally. And we as professionals, that's our job. And after your time at Hinchinbrook School, hopefully you go on to run your own clubs, uh, you'll get involved in sport and you'll play, you'll go to the Lake District, you'll enjoy our outdoor facilities, you enjoy every aspect of life. Hello Year 6, I'm just going to introduce you to my friend Bob here. Bob was a former pupil at Hinchinbrook School. He's been here for quite a while. Now, Bob's wearing our Hinterbrook PE kit. You can see he's got a VZ top on. He's got a stripe of red down the side. He's got one peep sock and one Cromwell sock. So whatever house you're going to be in in September, you're going to have a PE kit in your house colours, which is very important. In the summer term, we recommend that you wear a nice uh, polo top. In the winter term, you can still wear this, but with maybe a base layer underneath and your rugby top over the top. You've got your Hinterbrook shorts, your Hinchinbrook socks and trainers. Trainers are a must. We don't want any pumps, plimsolls, we want some good, solid running trainers, please. Um, you'll notice Bob doesn't have any piercings and that's the way we like it here at Hinchinbrook because if you've got your ears pierced or any other piercings, they all need to come out for every PE lesson. So if you're thinking about getting your ears pierced, please do it sooner rather than later so that they can come out ready for your first lesson in September. In the winter, you can also wear um, some uh, jogging bottoms or some leggings underneath your shorts, just when it's colder. You might also want to bring some football boots, so if you're on the, um, on the field, you can uh, get a bit more grip in the mud. Um, girls, you've got to have your hair tied back. Obviously, not a problem for Bob here, but if you've got long hair, girls and boys, it must be tied back, please. Welcome to uh, the playing fields of Hinchinbrook. Here is where you get to represent your house and Hinchinbrook against local schools. Sports day takes place here. It's here that you will get to develop your friendships, uh, you'll get lifelong memories and above all you'll get to enjoy yourself and of course be HBK proud.
Look how far we come now, 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 now. There's beauty in a unity we found. I'm ready, I'm ready. We still got a little way. But look how far we come now, 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 now. Hands up for your colors. It's just begun, and now you wear my colors on my back. Yeah. We created equal, one race and that's human. Can't wait till they all see, all see that. So, oh, we hope you've enjoyed your tour of Hinchinbrook School. We look forward to welcoming you in September. This is where you're going to start to make your memories. You've got five to seven years at Hinchinbrook School. Uh, you're going to probably enjoy 32 opportunities to develop different sports, different interests, and it's up to you to make the most of it. So you enjoy it, get involved, and represent your house with pride. We hope that in our guided tour we might have put to rest some of the anxieties that some of you might be feeling right now because times are very different and we're not used to this but there's really nothing to worry about so come to us in September open-minded and just give everything a go. We are so excited to see you and to meet you all. Stay safe. And if you want a little bit of a taste of what's happening you look at HBK Twitter which will be on after this and also we'll put the link up to uh, 2019 Sports Day where dreams were made. Bye.